He was wounded on D-Day but refused to be evacuated. Shrapnel to the chest two days later forced Lieutenant Matt Urban to an army hospital in England. Not nearly recuperated, he heard about his unit's heavy losses in the hedgerows of France, breaks out of the hospital and hitchhikes to France, where he limps onto the battlefield with a cane. Urban makes it to San Lo, France, where he pulls a pinned down, wounded Sherman tank driver out before it explodes. The tank in front of them is pinned down by gunfire and the turret gunner is dead. The Allies' offensive is stalled. Two Americans are gunned down trying to get at it. Urban watches the whole thing. He hobbles his way to the turret, orders the driver forward and proceeds to knock out the German machine gun and anti-tank gun nests. He's wounded but refuses to leave the turret. The tank column behind him rolls again and 2nd Battalion breaks through San Lo. There is no way this could be true, but it is. Urban wins the Medal of Honor and becomes the second most decorated American in World War II.